Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and ever, and forever. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace that comes from heaven above, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord for peace throughout the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of them all. Let us pray to the Lord for this holy church and for those who enter it with faith, devoutness, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord for our holy ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople. Let us pray to the Lord for our God-loving Bishop Gregory, for our esteemed priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For the honorable government of our country and for all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city, village and country, and for those who with faith dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, and for those who are held in captivity, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Commemorating our ever holy, ever pure, ever blessed and glorious Lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you are due all glory, honor, and adoration to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
from the epistle of St. Paul 
to the Colossians. Brethren, when Christ our life appears, then you shall appear with him in glory. Put to death whatever in your nature is rooted in earth, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desires, and that lust which is idolatry. These are the sins which provoke God's wrath. Your own conduct was once of this sort, when these sins were your very life. You must put that aside now, all the anger and quick temper, the malice, the insults, the foul language. Stop lying to one another. What you have done is put aside your old self with its past deeds and put on a new man, one who grows in knowledge as he is formed anew in the image of his creator. There is no Greek or Jew here, circumcised or uncircumcised, foreigner, Scythian, slave or free man. Rather, Christ is in everything, in all of you. Peace be with you, reader, this wisdom be attentive. Attentive. The Lord spoke this parable. A man once gave a great banquet, banquet and invited many. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servants to say to those who had been invited, Come, for all is now ready. But one by one they began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go and see it. I pray you, have, mercy, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. I pray you, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported this to his master. Then the household in anger said to the servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and the maimed and the blind and the lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you have commanded has been done, and still there is more room. And the master said to the servant, Go to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited shall taste my banquet. For many are called, but few are chosen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Amen. 
This morning, instead of having a sermon, I thought we would play a game. A game called Name That Tune. I'm going to read to you the lyrics of popular Christmas carols, and you have to guess the name of that carol. Now, one hint. These are not carols that sing about grandma getting run over by a reindeer, nor about your, giving your heart to someone, and then the very next day they went ahead and give it away to someone else, only to have it broken again next year. But these are popular religious carols. So are you ready? Here we go, the first one. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time behold he come, offspring of a virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity. Please as man with man to dwell, Jesus or Emmanuel. Do you have it? Yeah, some do. Okay, perhaps the second verse. Hell the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hell the Son of Righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mount he laid his glory by, born that man may no more die, born to raise the Son of Earth, born to give them second birth. You think you have it? Hark the herald angels sing, very good. Hark the herald angels sing. You ready for the next one? Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Change shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy and grateful chorus raise we. With all our hearts we praise his holy name. Christ is the Lord. Then ever, ever praise we his power and glory ever more proclaim. We have that one. O oh, holy night. Next one. Son of God loves pure light. Radiant beams from thy holy face with the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Silent night, good. From God our heavenly Father, a blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. Now that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Fear not then, said the angel, let nothing you affright. This day is born a Savior of, of a pure virgin bright to free all those who trust in him from Satan's power and might. God rest you, merry gentlemen. Last one. It, for lo, the days are hastening on by prophets seen of old. That's good for this week since we're talking about the Holy Forefathers. For lo, the days are hastening on by prophets seen of old. With the ever-circling years shall come the time foretold, when the new heaven and the earth shall own the Prince of Peace, their King, and the whole world send back the song which now the angels sing. It came upon a midnight clear. Good. We have been hearing Christmas carols now since about the middle of November, but how often do we really listen to the lyrics? and think about what they say. So much theology of the church is about the birth of Christ and it can be learned from these lyrics. Jesus, Lord at thy birth. It's like God is with us. We hear lines from these songs that express great truths. Word of the Father now in flesh appearing. Son of God loves pure light. And with his blood, mankind has brought, bought. We also have great theology in some of the songs of our tradition as well. Today, the virgin gives birth to the transcendent being, to the highest one. That's the conduction of the, of the nativity. You see how much we can learn if we listen to the songs. 
A lot of times we hear the songs and we don't pay attention to their words and we sing the melody and the melody sticks in our head. If I would hymn the melody, you would all know it. Listen to the words. They are important. As we draw near to this blessed feast, let us take time to listen to these great Christmas carols and the message they bring. To all who are celebrating the new calendar Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and the blessings of the Lord. And for us who are awaiting 13 more days, today we remember the Holy Forefathers, Daniel the prophet, those who prophesied about the great coming of our Lord and Jesus Christ. That's whom we remember this day. So as we sing in the Kandakian of the Matins, today the Virgin is on her way to the cave. 13 days we will honor her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Thanks for playing. Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say. Let us play. God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Furthermore, we pray for our holy ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew the Archbishop of Constantinople, and for our God-loving Bishop Gregory, for our spiritual fathers and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ, for their welfare, peace, health, salvation, and for the remission of their sins, and that the Lord our God may prompt and help them in all things. who give their offerings and do good works in this holy and venerable church, for those who labor in its service, for those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who have shown us kindness, and for all Orthodox Christians. Christ, you shared your whole life in order to redeem us. You have said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. As we fast and prepare to celebrate your life-giving manifestation, we pray especially that our respect for life will prevail in the world. Directed by your command to care for the least of these, may we and all people heed your call to show care and concern for life in the womb, for the lives of the poor, oppressed and suffering, and for the lives of the sick, the elderly and the dying. May your peace reign in our hearts and throughout the world, especially in places of unrest, so that the shedding of blood in warfare, violence, terrorism, tyranny, and all manner of strife may come to an end. May aggression between neighbors and nations fade away. May love, reign in the lives of families. May we become partakers of your abundant life together with all the saints whose lives have pleased you from the beginning. We pray you, O most life-giving Lord, hear us and have mercy. Merciful God who loves mankind and we give glory to you, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, always, now and ever and forever.
Mystically represent the cherubim and the saint of the life giving Trinity that Christ over him. Let us not lay aside all earthly cares, that we may raise on high the King of all who comes invisibly scored by Jolly Close. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We who mystically represent the cherubim and the saint of the life giving Trinity that Christ over him, let us not lay aside all earthly cares, that we may raise on high the King of all who comes invisibly scored by Jolly Close. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We who mystically represent the cherubim and the saint of the life giving Trinity. Let us not lay aside all earthly cares, that we may raise on high the King of all who comes invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Servants of God, those who are celebrating their birthdays this week, Elaine de Dutko, Roxanne Maloro, and Eleanor Dusseling. For the servants of God, those who are joining us via the internet for their health and long life. For the departed servants of God, Mary and George Samancic, Martha Dietzen and Michael Dietzen, Anne Lenarchek, Marion Sprintz, Mary Miralovich, Caroline Dudak, Christina Simon, William Glehigh, and Mary Zizak for their blessed repose. And all you Orthodox Christians, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. 
Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive, so that we may offer the holy sacrifice in peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you.
Christ forever exists and ever the same. The only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non existence into being. And when we have fallen, you raised us up again and left nothing again to lead us that we stood upon us your future being. Brothers, we give thanks to you and to your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know, the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed upon us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have found worthy to receive from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged and many-eyed, who soar aloft on their wings and who sing a cry out and proclaim the triumphant hymn, saying,
for many years, so that they may faithfully dispense the word of your truth. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and sublime name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. saints again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord for the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified let us pray to the Lord that our God who loves mankind having received them on his holy most heavenly and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance may bestow upon us in return the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. will be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us beseech the Lord. For all that is good and profitable to our souls and for the peace of the world, let us beseech the Lord. As we pass the remainder of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. and ending of our life without pain and shame, peaceful and for a good account at the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Praise Having prayed for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Lord, with full confidence and without condemnation to dare to call upon you, God our Heavenly Father, and to say to you, Therefore, O oh 
us or distribute equally these gifts in a manner beneficial to each according to their need. Sail with those upon the seas, journey with those who travel by land and air, and cure the sick, O healer of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and bounties and love towards mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, gracious and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Be attentive, holy things are for the holy. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken and undivided. Every eat and never consumed, the sanctifying those who are to of Be soon, the Spirit of the the fullness of the Holy Spirit, was be the fruit of the saints. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the penitent thief I confess to you. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. O Master, remember me when you come into your kingdom. O Holy One, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Let the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment nor condemnation, but for the healing of my soul and my body. O Lord, I also believe and confess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and truly your life-giving blood, which I pray I may worthily receive for the remission of all of my sins and for life everlasting. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for my sins are many. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Forgive me if I have sinned against you in any way, either thought, whether voluntary or involuntary. Forgive me if I have sinned against you in any way, either thought, whether voluntary or involuntary. The precious and all holy name of our land of the Church of the Church be given to our Lord.
Behold, this has touched your lips and shall take away your iniquities and shall cleanse you of all of your sins. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the Lord to the Lord. We have received by the Holy Spirit. We have followed you. Worship, O Lord. the mysteries of Christ. Arise, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed that this day will be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Birthday greetings are extended this week to Elaine Dutko, to Roxanne Malaro, happy birthday, Roxanne, and to Eleanor Dussling, happy birthday, Eleanor. Final choir practice for the Holy Day, the final one, the last practice for the Holy Day of the Feast of the Nativity is this Tuesday, December 26th at 7 p.m. Back by popular demand, we will have our Christmas breakfast once again on Sunday, January 7th, 2018, after the Divine Liturgy in our church auditorium. Um, please use the sign-up sheet and let me know how many are coming. Also, you will find downstairs in the church auditorium the results of the OCF National Youth Survey that our diocese took part of. Please feel free to take one and read it. Much to read in a bulletin, Christmas break, bowling for our kids, hockey outing. Details for these and much, much more are found in this week's bulletin. Panahita this morning for George and Mary Samancic, Martha Dietzen, Michael Dietzen, Anne Lenarchek, Marion Sprints, Mary Marilovich, Caroline uh, Dudak, Christina Simon, William Blehi, and Mary Zizak. Good to see all of you. We'll see you at the coffee social this morning. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and forever. from the dead, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the prayers of a holy father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of the holy forefather, whom we commemorate this second Sunday before the Feast of the Nativity, through the prayers of the venerable saintly Daniel, the stylite of Constantinople, whom we remember this day, and through the prayers of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and he loves mankind. And O Lord, to your faithful servants gathered here this morning, peace, health, and long life for many happy and blessed years.
mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us.
Jason Michael Deason, and Lenore Check, Mary and Sprint, Mary Marilovich, Carolyn Dudak, Christina Simon, William Lehigh, and Mary Zizak, who have fallen asleep. And we give glory to you, and the Jewish eternal Father, and your most holy, gracious, and life giving spirit. Now and ever. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the prayers of a holy father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of the holy forefathers, whom we commemorate this second Sunday before the Feast of the Nativity, through the prayers